Hello and welcome back to Cassette Beasts. Well, last time, yes, we started our adventure here in New Wirral. We learnt the basics of battling and catching and traversal. We made friends with our first companion, lovely Kaylee there, which you can see on screen. And we discovered a strange area. We discovered a train station. Inside, we found an Archangel. A heavily weakened one, but we still beat it. And we unlocked Fusion. After this, yes... And it looks like today we're starting off with a bang, because yes, this is an angry guy. He is shouting at two pale-looking individuals. Don't make me tell you again. Harbour Town won't fall to you bloodsuckers. Are these vampires? So unreasonable. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, they, they just might be, but that's a terrifying look. So unreasonable. Crawl back to the darkness you came from, or you'll have to go through me. I've fought your kind before and won. Do you want a demonstration? I would love one. We shall leave for now. But in time you shall understand that we know what is best for you all. Interesting. Yeah. Tell the rest of your kind that this town is protected by Eugene. Okay, Eugene's got his own theme. Let me know if those creeps bother you again, ma'am. And whatever you do, don't invite them into your house. That's what they want. These are literally vampires. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for intervening, young man. Hey. Hey, yourself. Oh, hey, sorry you had to see that. The name's Eugene. Nice to meet you, Eugene. I am Sire. Always nice to meet a new face around here. Who were those people? They don't belong in this world. That's an interesting statement. They don't belong in this world. Let's just say that not all monsters in New Wirral look like serial mascots. Anyway, I've got to go stake out those guys. I can't risk them sinking their teeth into the good people of Harbour Town. Yes, would you like some help? I'm always willing to get my hands dirty. Okay, so we have a location and a promise to give us more details when we're there. That's an amazing coincidence because that is exactly where I was going to go pretty much as soon as I left Harbour Town. Because yes, I've not been to that section of the map before. Kaylee kept blocking me. Okay, well that was an exciting way to start the day. We have new enemies. Vampires. They have evil team energy. They're the team rocket of this place. And yes, what is this? The merchant who runs this stall has left a note. I've gone to the cave in the park to find some inspiration. If I'm not back by noon, send help. A little inspiration. Go to the cave in the park and find out what happened to the merchant. What do you guys have? Are you looking for some new sticker? Yes, I certainly am. Ooh, okay, we don't have the resources for any of these yet, however, that will come in time. Interesting, this move has some modifiers on it. Okay, is there rarity for moves as well? As in, can I find more powerful variants of the same moves? Because if I can, that has added some amazing RNG to the mix. Ah, okay, they actually refresh every day. I've been told that we should talk to townsfolk because they can give us rumours. Nope, nothing important from you. Okay, I think we found someone who might have a rumour. The exclamation mark is the universal gaming term for I have a quest. Hey, any chance you could lend a hand? I told Ianthi I'd put up a town sign here, something that could make the place a little more cosy. Okay, so he needs wood. How much wood do you need? 300. I think I've got 300, haven't I? No. Well, that's fine. That's something we can turn in after we go and do some battling. Because now, yes, we have access to a new area. Plastic wall. Sacrifice 20% of HP to create a wall that will absorb up to three hits. Now, does that mean three hits per turn? So a total of nine. Or does that mean three hits in total? Probably three hits in total. If we're fighting an Archangel, that could be amazing. Because we can just nullify its angelic attack. Ooh. There's a path that extends out of New Wirral up to the north. Okay, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. I want to see what else is up here. You can stand on the heads of NPCs. This is not a drill. <laughs> you can use them for a boost. Can't do it with Kaylee, but I can do it with NPCs. What do we have here? We usually cook food for the townsfolk here, but we haven't received ingredients from the farm west of here for a while. All right, there's some exposition. There's something going on west. There's no time to chat. I have an order of pastries to finish preparing. I can't help but notice there's nowhere to prepare food in here. 
Okay, we've got a few more houses to check along this side. Ooh. Ooh, is that a crystal ball by any chance? Welcome. An astrologer. Welcome, inquiring souls. Are you here to learn about the astral arts? Yes. Beasts of the astral type draw their power from the four basic elements of nature, earth, water, fire, and air. However, their internal harmony can be thrown into disarray by exposure to impure elements such as plastic, poison, and metal. If you wish to take the form of an astral beast, remember this. Okay, well, that's something interesting to keep in mind for later. The scribbled notes say, the mysterious gears beneath this hill are the key to unlocking the dinosaur's true potential. I really hope I remember this stuff whenever I encounter a dinosaur. Okay, time to get today started proper. I am gonna go east. Okay, this is cool. There appears to be a whirlwind. And this acts as a shortcut back up to this area. Now then, Kaylee, are you going to kick off when I try and come down here? No. Oh, look, it's raining. Well, this is good news. This means we have an extra area to explore. Now, because the progression gated me from coming this way, are these going to be higher level? They are. The enemies in this area are typically level one, I think. Time to get smacking. One of you down already, and we're gonna bite you, and we're going to Sonic Boom you as well. Yep, can't take a single one of those because we are getting too strong. Excellent. Ooh, okay. So Eugene appears to be at the top there. That's fine. I'm still going to look around this area before I go into that building because, yeah, because I don't know what's in there. And I don't know what's here either. Hello. A canned iced latte. Tinned coffee that provides two additional AP. Ooh. Okay, so it uses up a turn to do this, but I effectively gain an extra turn's worth of AP. Could be good in a pinch when I need to land a strong attack. Let's take this guy out. Ah, okay, so these are still level one. So this counts as the beach, even though this is an area of the beach that I couldn't access before. Interesting, so the fusion bar seems to be going up as I'm getting hit. That bite attack is so strong. Yep, we got a level out of that fight, but these are all pretty trivial. And let's see. Okay, no, we can't actually enter this place. So this, presumably, that will unlock at a later time. No, okay, it looks like we need to approach from the other side. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to catch a traffic crab. Yep, I think what I'm going to do, let's smack the spring heel. And I'm going to use spit on the traffic crab. And same thing again, let's smack the spring heel and I'm going to use sonic boom on everyone. Hopefully this doesn't kill the traffic crab. Okay, it didn't because it missed. Um, in that case, I'm going to smack the spring heel and I'm going to start to record... Ooh. Oh, that's what the chrome tape does. That's cool. No, we're going to use a basic and we're going to try and catch the traffic grab. Recording. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. That worked differently to the tutorial. The tutorial one couldn't fail. So yes, I am burning through them if I don't succeed. Okay, we're going to smack you and then we're going to record... My advice to anyone who plays this game is don't click the wrong thing. You will be far happier if you do not click the wrong thing. Let's try instead to grab this spring eel. This should be an easier catch. We're going to smack you and we're going to record you. Recording. It's only a 30% chance. That's not looking good. Oh, 70. Hey, we got him. Yes. Spring heels get their kicks by hiding behind corners under the cover of night before leaping out to surprise their victims. It appears that they make wings out of old discarded rags. Ooh, okay, these stats. It's good at melee attack and it's fast. So it should strike first and it'll hit hard. Good stuff. Well, we can just destroy it now. That's fine. Get the XP. Jump scare. Chance to cause the target to flinch. 
we have our first properly caught cassette piece. That is genuinely quite exciting. Let's try for a second. Okay, we can get rid of the spring heal immediately because we don't need to catch another one of those. Okay, good stuff. Now we can use a basic tape to record the traffic grab and Kaylee can use Sonic Boom to hit both. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, okay. So that, that's a guaranteed catch now then, presumably, because it said 100%. Yes. We have a traffic crab. The traffic crab's cone isn't actually a part of its body. It is merely a traffic cone that has washed up on the shores of New Wirral and been occupied by the creature. It is said that in the past they would instead find other objects to live inside. Okay, you're pretty decent at both melee and ranged attacks, but you're not very fast. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I think it's time for a rest so that we can get some of our health back. The arrow of time moves only forward, Kaylee. Keep moving forward. It's just something my dad used to say. I guess it means that time marches on. We can't turn back the clock and change our mistakes, so we shouldn't dwell on the past. Good advice. Even if we want to. <laughs> I guess that means we should be thinking about the next step in our adventure. After all, the arrow of time only moves forward, sire. Looks like we are progressing our friendship with Kaylee nicely. And you know what? For the final catch, let's grab one of these. Ooh, that's a new one. Squirey. Do I have two more tapes? Yes, I do. Okay, new tactic. I'm going to go for the Squirey because I've not seen that one and I don't know if that one might be like a, a rare spawn of some kind. Let's both attack it. Ooh, unfortunately, we got a poison there. Now we are going to do a record with the basic tape on the Squirey and we're going to use Sonic Boom. 73% chance. Okay, we did get the Squirey. However, the the snake ran off. The common Squirey is often seen roaming around the plains of New World, searching for opponents to battle. Despite their cute appearances, they are dedicated warriors and driven by an innate desire for self-improvement. Hits one target, inflicts resonance on glass and metal type targets. Okay, that could be very useful if we come up against a particularly nasty enemy of that type. There's Eugene. I'm going to drop a quick save. I don't think I have a source to buy more tapes, you know. I wonder, does the Ranger Handbook tell us where? No, sadly not. I expect it's going to be somewhere. Ooh. Oh, that's really big. Okay, let's read this. There we have it. Okay. As far as I'm aware, if you attack an element that is weak to you. It doesn't deal more damage like it does in Pokemon. Instead, it gives you a buff. And similarly, if you attack with an element that they are resistant to, you get a debuff. And the types are Beast, Air, Astral Earth, Fire, Ice, Lightning, Metal, Plant, Plastic, Poison, Water, Glass, Glitter. I think I'm going to have to reference that a few times in this playthrough. Let's go and speak to Eugene. Hey. Hey. Glad you turned up. So am I, Eugene, because I think this is going to lead to some fun story. Are you ready to take on the forces of evil? Yeah, sure. I just dropped a save, so that's fine. Momentous. Indeed. We're going into the vampire nest. It looks a bit plain. Are we throwing shade on a vampire nest? Looks can be deceiving, buddy. They certainly can. Their kind once plagued the world I came from, but we fought back. We won. Which world did you come from? This opens up some possibilities because, yes, this implies that not everybody in New Wirral came from Earth. There are a few of these strongholds. You might have seen them around. They lock the front doors, but we can drop in through a window on the roof. Try gliding over from here, I'll be by your side, don't worry about it. Ooh, okay, Eugene is actually a companion, and he uses Cloxley. That is a lovely design. The Cloxley's long claw limb gives them a unique advantage of ranged combat, as they are able to wield handheld weaponry at a safe distance. This makes up for the fact that they're not very fast. Okay, so yes, ranged defense and ranged attack is very high. Let's see its moves. Automatically gives the user the spring-loaded status if they don't already have it. This turns the user's melee attack into ranged attacks. Okay, so every sticker that we place onto Cloxley's tape even if it's a melee attack, it will become a ranged attack. 
I'm loving that. Oh, Kaylee's gone home, so I can only have one companion at a time. Quest updated. Accompany Eugene to the window atop the mysterious office. Oh, you f you you are a not a good glider. So I don't actually have fusion unlocked with Eugene yet, but perhaps this is going to unlock it for us. I nabbed the window key from one of those ghouls while they were patrolling. Eugene, you thief. We're going to drop right on in there and flush them out. Are you ready? I was born ready. Hey! <laughs> Hello. What's that graph? Oh, are they trying to get home? I think that's a crudely drawn house. Also, they've drawn, like, palm trees in here. We're taking down your operation, you leeches. <clears throat> You're being very uncooperative, young man. Why don't you listen to our sales pitch? <laughs> Didn't you heavily imply that they're vampires? Yes, you did, Eugene. <sighs> okay, so he's insisting that they are vampires. Well... Well, in a manner of speaking. Right. I'd say they're worse than vampires. What are they? They're estate agents. That is not... <sighs> Eugene. Yes. <laughs> the Landkeepers Association simply wants to formulate a long-term housing market with a new Wirral. <laughs> if you buy in now, you can make a significant profit from any future arrivals who will need housing. Well, apparently nobody does, because when I turned up, there was just an empty house. Since new Wirral has no currency, we even have a promising repossession scheme in development. I've heard enough. Harbour Town will never be bought out by your kind. Yep, let's do this. Okay, Pawn Dead. Haven't heard of that one before, but I've definitely heard of Spring Heel. Okay, we're going to focus on the Pawn Dead because I don't know what that can do. And it may end up being quite, yeah, quite tough. Spring Loaded extends the range of a character's melee attacks, turning them into ranged attacks. Yes. Which means any attack that Eugene uses does extreme damage. Wow. The buried condition. Just as the life cycle of plastic products is often, unfortunately, to be buried in a landfill, Earth-type attacks bury plastic types. This limits their movement. Okay, so speed down. Okay, we're going to smack Pawn dead, and we're going to use Toy Hammer on Spring Heel. Yep, so... Ah! Okay, yep, that's Pawn Dead down. Eugene is also very, very close to being dead. Let's do Bite. That should take it out in one. Yep, we win. We win. 242. That's almost as much as we got from defeating the Archangel. Okay, raise arms on Cloxley. That's an amazing combo because ranged attacks he's already great at. Market growth is inevitable. We are inevitable. I... <laughs> A small victory, but there's more work to be done. Yeah, they, they don't sound that dangerous. Are we just going into random estate agents and beating them up? These land keepers seek to profit off of our collective misery. I don't know how they got here. Yeah but I intend to stop them as the defender of Harbour Town. How much do you want to bet that one or more of the developers of this game had a, a less than pleasant experience with an estate agent at some point in the last few years? Uh, yeah, let's help Eugene, because I want to unlock fusion, because I want to fuse with Cloxley. Keep your eyes peeled for the other strongholds and listen up for rumours when you're in town. Find and clear out all of the Landkeepers Association offices. This is amazing. Just brilliant. Also, take this. Ah, okay, so this is like a master key for all of the windows that they have on top of the roofs. Yes. Okay, here are the rumours. The island of New Wirral is yours to explore as you please. If you're looking for a suggested location to head to next, you can always head to Harbour Town and ask for rumours. The people of Harbour Town love to trade intel. Investigating the locations given in rumours will usually lead to progress in your quests, as well as help you discover new monsters. And yes, we have to collect three rumours from Harbour Town. I am more than happy to do so. I need to go back to Harbour Town anyway, because despite being quite fond of Eugene and Cloxley already, I would actually quite like to continue, yeah, grinding with Kaylee. Not, not like grinding with Kaylee, but you know, there's a rumour right there. But first, there she is. Take Kaylee nice. with me, yes. And yep, Eugene has taken his place inside the cafe, so we always know where to find him. Ah, you know what? I am going to see whether or not you sell me cassette tapes. Bonjour, Clémence. It's not too often we get a new face in here, especially not one as handsome as your own. I am Clémence. 
I am Clemence, and this fine establishment is the Gramophone Cafe. What can I say? I own many records, and I brew the best coffee. Not that there's much competition. Please feel free to ask me any questions. I'm in no rush. What's on the menu? Yes, okay, perfect. I can buy basic tapes here. And we can buy coffee, which is great, because that could be really useful in a boss battle. Okay, we're going to buy seven basic tapes. Yes. Goodbye to you too, Clemence. Now we can actually catch more things. And just outside, we have a new rumour. Have you seen a fiery dog? It's Pom Bob. I've heard it can be seen in the outskirts. Okay, so this is to catch a Pom Bob, I think. The rumours you gather in Harbour Town are tracked in your quest log. Harbour Town is the best place to stock up on supplies, so remember to check for new rumours whenever you're there. Something big's happening on Upper Path. Rangers have been returning wounded. Okay. First at on Lake. Valid for nine minutes, did that say? Something big's happening on Upper Path. Rangers have been returning wounded. Yes, valid for nine minutes. So these are timed. Okay, well in that case, we're going to run over there quickly and see if we can't engage with that rumour. Hopefully before it expires. And yes, it looks like it's one tile over and then one tile up. Oh, I can't actually get over that way yet. Right, perhaps I can go north? Yeah, this looks like I could probably glide. Yes, I can. Ooh, something in the water was not happy to see me. Okay, just had a load screen, so it appears that we've entered a new area. But I am kind of stuck here. I can't do much, so I'm going to have to go back. Yep, sadly, I think that rumour is actually quite inaccessible to me at the moment. Also, I'm loving all these things I can move around. Hello, is this a puzzle? Nope, that appears to do nothing. Um, what is that? Rogue fusions. Oh, I was told about these. This monster is what the rangers call a rogue fusion. Sometimes they hide inside chests found in underground caves. Battling rogue fusions can be a great way to earn valuable items and earn experience points as well as find certain rare monsters. But note that they're always a lot more dangerous than other monsters in the area. Well, I've just run into it, so this could be a bad idea. If you're not certain of your combat abilities, or you're exploring somewhere new, it's usually best to leave rogue fusions alone. Okay, so not run off the edge directly into it. Oh, okay, brilliant. It does give me the option to turn back. Um, but I'm not going to take that option. Oh, this was a mistake. Okay, this might be a problem. I'm going to hit dodge on Sirenade. Ooh, okay. Now you know what, this might actually work because I didn't use my strong move, but now I can. Now I can use Bite and I can use Sonic Boom. Ooh, that hits hard. But I'm also hitting reasonably hard too. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to use a Rewind on Can Devil, and I'm going to use a Spit. Yeah, I'm just going to have to Spit. This is some damage, which is better than no damage. That's fine, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use another Rewind... And then I'm going to use a Sonic Boom, which should take out the extra Traffic Crab, and yep. Yeah. Hyper Traffic Crab has been, at the very least, taken down. Okay, so that Traffic Crab is flinched. So is that one, which means I basically get a free turn. Now I can use Bite, and I can use Sonic Boom as well. I should be able to live one turn, especially if I heal. Okay, we're doing good damage. Okay, we're going to do another bite onto you, and we're going to do a spit on the other one. Yeah, I think we got this. I think we've got this. Now, you know what? I'm going to use bite, because that will take it down quickly. And just in case it misses, sonic boom. Okay, we did it. We did it. Fantastic. Ooh, 475! That was worth. That was so worth. And yes, we got a fused metal, metal, pulp, and wheat. That was worth it. Do we think we are 
adequately healed. Do you know what? No, we're just gonna we're not gonna risk it. We're not gonna risk it. Good, good. Let's fight one of these guys. I don't know what level it's gonna be. I'm glad. I'm very, very glad that I healed, because I didn't realise they were all going to be level 12 and 11 up here. Okay, and we'll use regular spit. We're just trying to get rid of the spring heal quickly. Okay, let's use bite on the spring heal, and we'll use sonic boom, and hopefully we take out the spring heal and we can start doing damage to the, um, to the carnivipe. Okay, spring heal's gone, and we healed a bit. Sonic Boom is in. Let's do a smack, and we shall do the record. Nope, I'm going to use the basic tape. Recording. 42% chance isn't great. Ooh! Got it. But we got it anyway. Despite its grinning visage, the Karna Viper isn't actually a friendly creature. Shot. It's very territorial and will attack anyone who approaches it that it deems a threat, which tends to be everything and everyone. Ooh, Carni Viper is nice and fast. Yeah. Ah, okay. Tape storage. When your party is full, tapes you record are put in a special storage compartment in your backpack. Tapes and storage that you don't want anymore can be recycled for resources and stickers. Interesting. Carni Viper was put into storage. Lovely. Got some more plastic. That can go towards the next, uh, what do we call it? Basic tape. Okay, we're going to go back to town because, yes, sadly, I can't actually complete that rumour because it's it's in a place I can't reach. Also, out of curiosity, can I rest here? Ah, this is a campfire, so I can take a break here. Obviously, it's not a campfire, but the game seems to treat it as one. Okay, let's go and collect that final rumour if we can. Ah, there we go. Someone I know in Morningtown, up on Autumn Hill, says he's seen a lot of landkeepers gathering at some sort of office lately. Okay, there we go. Those are our three lovely rumours. Quest complete. Oh, we got experience for that. Ooh, and an Ice 9 tape. A frigid tape made of ice that never seems to melt. The label warns the user to keep it out of water. It has a very high efficiency rate when used to record ice-type monsters. Okay, so type-specific tapes, that sounds nice. Okay, looking at the map then, so we're in this square here, this is Harbour Town, and this is the cafe. There's fast travel. I did not know that there was fast travel. That is very, very handy. It didn't look like we could actually go this way. Daily item? Is that in-game day, or is that day day? I'm gonna have to go and find out. I mean, that's gonna be the first thing we do. Yes, we can't appear to go any more east than this for now. So, what we're going to do, yes, we are going to track this quest and we're going to head up the main quest and go and see the rangers. Oh, we have another rumour. Apparently there's a monster that dashes about like a rocket. I bet you could too if you recorded one. Oh, it's way over to the east though. I don't, I don't think I can reach that yet. But this one is not timed. Excellent. That's one to keep in the books for later. Okay, we come up and, okay, we come into the upper path. I am going to head myself in this direction, and I'm also going to check one final thing, just because I'm curious. I noticed that the train tracks over here did actually lead into a tunnel. I want to see, does the tunnel lead anywhere? Am I in the same spot? Yes. Okay, so the tunnels do lead somewhere, but they also don't lead anywhere. Okay, and nothing down this end. There's a strange looking tile, does nothing. That's fine, that's good. My curiosity is satisfied. Yep, we don't need to worry about these traffic rabs or really any monsters here at all. The only one I'm vaguely interested in is Pombom. Ah, there it is. Yep, we're supposed to catch one of you. Cool, so we've got level fours. These should not take very long to destroy whatsoever. So we're both gonna attack you first. So it's only 17%, but it's about to take a massive whack. Yes. That's up to 74%. And we caught it. Thank you, Pom Bomb. Pom Bombs are universally considered to be one of the friendliest creatures of New Wirral. Oh, and I just smacked it around. And you're not great offensively, but you do have reasonable ranged defense. We did indeed win, and we gained a level. Gain five wood and a hundred pulp. In theory, we 
just solved one of the rumours. Yes. Is that why we received the 100 pull? Not sure, but that's absolutely fine. I have one more thing to check. Come back down here towards the beach, and let's see if there's another item down here. There is! What are you? Burn Cure. Nice. Okay, we must make it our mission to come back here as often as possible. Can we fast travel here, by the way? No, there's nowhere to actually fast travel to. I can't fast travel to the campsites. Maybe it's just the town. I mean, it might literally just be Harbour Town. Okay, let's make our way over the bridge. Yes, from here we can go north, or I noticed we can go east. But we're going to go north. East is for another time. Ooh, hello. Okay, so if we jump down there, we're basically stuck. And that's fine, because I want to be. We have a new critter here. It's like a Plague Doctor Crow. Nevermort. Okay, good. We've got a new one to catch, and it's only level 5. 25% chance basic. Give it a good old smack, and that takes us up to... 100% chance. 93. We're still going to catch it in 93. Yes, we are. It must be noted that the Nevermort does not have a beak. Rather, it is wearing what appears to be a porcelain plague doctor mask. Yes. What face lies beneath the mask is something better left undiscovered. Oh, is it ugly? Poor Nevermort. Ooh, okay, so it's got high health and very high speed, but everything else kind of sucks. But something to note. The way the battle system works in this game is everyone sets their move first and then the battle plays out all at once. So this creature would probably go first, given its high speed. So if I want to set up a condition on the battlefield, this would be perfect for it. Okay, we're going to give it another bite just to finish it off. See you later. Excellent, and Kaylee gained that next level. That could be really good. Oh wow, okay, that was unexpected. Well, we found our way north. Right. I've been honing my monster skills out here for months now. Let me show you the results of my training. Is this a trainer battle? It is. It's a level 10 spring heal. I... I'm sorry, mate. I don't think this is going to go well. And it was a crit. A masquerattle. Oh, he had more than one monster. Okay, in that case, let's do a dodge because the health is low. Revenge strike. I like that. By the way, am I able to record this no okay so this is this is standard trainer battle rules yep and that's brought the trainee back out and i win another 200 odd xp that's great i guess i still have more training to do yeah i think so too mate okay i wasn't actually traveling in the right direction no i should be coming up here and to the west Ooh, okay well i'm not going to worry about this right now because i'm not convinced i can actually solve that yet Ah, that's what I wanted to see. Yes, please. Spend eight wood to rest. That was more expensive than the four down south. Hey, I never asked you how you're finding that first monster form I gave you back on the beach when we first met. It was Candible, right? That's a pretty fun monster form. When I've used it in the past, I felt like I was on a permanent sugar rush. I got the feeling that ranged attacks were more effective in that form. Maybe can devils have a naturally good aim. It takes some time getting used to how each monster form changes how your own body feels. It seems to me that you're doing a cracking job at learning the ropes, though. Thank you, Kaylee. Remastering. Certain tapes can be remastered when they reach five stars. Remastering a tape evolves it into a more powerful form, its stats will grow, and it will learn new moves. Some monster forms can only be obtained through remastering, and in some cases, the remastered tape can be different depending on various conditions. Remaster tapes whenever you can. Oh, we're going to evolve Can Devil. Remaster your Can Devil tape into a more powerful form? Yes. In which field do I want to study? Alchemy or machinery? I feel like, given the theme of sweets and confectionery, alchemy seems to be a better fit. Your can devil tape became Malchemy. Ooh, look, it has got stronger. Malchemy, a series of strange internal chemical changes can cause a can devil to mature into a Malchemy. We've got a new one. 
Okay, this is amazing. I love the fact that we can do this. And yes, if I remember correctly, inventory. Yes, we've got an upgrade. So I could use that on someone immediately. I'm not going to. I'm going to save that for something special, I think. Are you... Confident woman. Hey you, you boys aren't normally bold enough to venture this close to our outpost. Why don't you get on out of here while this conversation remains civil? You ain't moving. Guess I've got to get my hands dirty then. So this is going to be Ianthe. Do we get to watch? Level 60. <laughs> Right. Note to self, don't challenge her. Yes, Kaylee, she is in charge for a reason. That monster should have just listened, really, shouldn't it? Welcome to New Wirral Park. Please exercise appropriate caution around the monsters here. Okay, so we need to head up that away. Just looking at the monsters on screen, now it looks like we've got all of these, which means we won't need to catch any. Oh, look! A landkeeper. The value of property near the park is sky high. We're gonna fight. You're level eight, mate. This is this is gonna end very badly for you. Go on, Kaylee. There we go. Have you got one more? No, we're done. Lovely. The crime rate is also sky high. I mean, we did just beat you up for no reason. So yeah, I I do agree. How do we get up to her? A double battle. Just what we're looking for. Someone to beat to prove our worth to the rangers. This is not going to go your way. Revenge strike seems like a really cool move because that seems to be a passive. That being said, now that I'm poisoned, this is going to get complicated because I'm going to start taking serious damage. At least I healed a bit. Jeez. 64? What? I thought that was going to be an easy fight. <laughs> How was that doing 64 damage to me? I'm a higher level and I'm evolved. We need to get ourselves some of those Carna Vipers. Okay, so it is this square that we need to be in. Let's do a quick heal first. Malcomy is back up. So, ah, right. Can we jump around here to get up to the rangers? I hope so. This guy's angry with me and wants to fight. Can I circumvent? Yes, I can. I don't need to fight every single ranger. <laughs> okay, new tactic. If we don't want to fight, we can just jump over someone's head. I can fight them on the way down. I just wanted to, yeah. Ooh, barrels. Bone Cannon. I like that. That's actually really reasonable for 240 hits. Okay, let's go and meet the leader of the rangers. After we steal her things. Wood and plastic, thank you. Hi. Ayanthe. Ayanthe, okay. Nice to meet you too. What? what do you think of this outpost? This place was abandoned for the longest time. With a bit of work, we turned it into a rest stop for weary rangers. What are the rangers for? I'd like to tell you, we defend the people of New Wirral from a relentless horde of monsters. But most of the time, we're doing odd jobs for the community. It's really not that exciting. Kaylee can attest to that as one of our most recent recruits. Yeah, we did just fight an Archangel. We're pretty sure Archangels exist, but our interactions with them have been fleeting. Do you know what, Kaylee? I agree. I'd love to apply to be a ranger. Trainees are tasked with meeting up with each of the ranger captains here in New Wirral and overcoming their challenges. Since you're such a hotshot in monster combat, I'm pretty sure the captains are going to want to test your fighting abilities. Trainees who pass the trial become full-time rangers like Kaylee. Rangers have a lot of responsibilities, but nothing that would put them in significant danger. Kaylee had a level 5 sirenade. How did she do all of this? Okay, so we've got 12 slots on a card. Does this give me a free coffee? Is this a stamp card? Every time you overcome a captain's challenge, they'll stamp this card. 
when you've filled it all in, come and see me and I can sign you off as an official ranger. Okay, so instead of 8 gyms, it's 12 ranger captains. Each captain has perfected their own strategy in battle. It ain't just about raw strength, you're gonna have to learn to adapt your approach as you go. I'm loving the sound of this. You think you can handle it? Yes. Quest updated, take me on. Train with each of the ranger captains to become a ranger. Find out where these captains are stationed by asking around in Harbour Town. Anyway, I've got to head back into town. If you need me, come swing by our headquarters. I absolutely will. Yes, that was the one towards the north end of the town, I believe. Well, we are going to become a ranger. Well, we've achieved a lot this episode. We've learned even more about how the world works. We've learned about rogue fusions. We've evolved our can devil into malchemy. Some of these fights can get really tricky, unexpectedly, because I haven't properly learned about all the systems yet. That's exciting because it feels, it feels fresh. Everything about this game feels fresh. But that is more than enough for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next one. 24 of you. Wait, Oh no! During my interrogation of this poor chatbot, I actually came up with an idea. What if I asked ChatGPT how I should market my video? Immediately, the stack disappeared. Oh!